in the name of God the Almighty. Peace to you. Shalom. Let me at the beginning of my speech state clearly that I am not a supporter of one religion over another. I am delivering a warning and at the same time good news from God the Almighty that the final hour is at hand. And so many people should return to him gracefully and allow his reign over the earth to arrive peacefully and gracefully or else suffer the consequences of arrogance and ignorance which will be more severe COVID-19 natural disasters and wars. So my brothers of the Jewish faith, I'm here to remember with you what the word Jew means. The word in Arabic comes from the verb hada, hada, which means repented and returned to God. And if you followed my previous video in which I spoke about Christianity, you will find that the way to salvation is by combining the three verbs of Abrahamic faith together. Hada, Aslama, Intasara. The final sentence, sentence would read, The one who repented and returned to God by surrendering himself to him will be victorious. This is the way to salvation and the eternal life, which will begin at, after the end of the final hour of mortal life. The true believers amongst you know and understand that, that this is the real deal call, the final call to all the children of Israel to return to God and submit themselves to his way, the way of their grandfather Abraham. Abraham's way was the way of not only believing in God, but rather knowing him through observation of his magnificent creation of heavens, planet, planets, earth, and all the creatures. The way of Abraham is the religion of truth, which reside in God's creation and the best and in the best of text and knowledge sent by him to guide us all. For since he created Adam, the first man, he was seeking an entity to rule the earth in peace, wisdom, knowledge, and justice, not in corruption, bloodshed, greed, and injustice. So where are you now, the descendants of the twelve children of Jacob? Where are you from the aim of God behind his creation of mankind? Is there any of your nation that do not have an army? Haven't you been all involved in wars since God rescued you with Moses and Aaron from Egypt, from Egypt at the beginning of this human cycle? God has chosen you as his people at the end of the previous cycle and asked you to keep your covenant with him so he would keep his covenant with you. The covenant made with Moses commands you, first of all, to worship only God the Almighty. In whatever name you want to call him, Yahweh, Yahuwah, Allah, Elohim, Hashem, and to not associate with him another deity, not Osiris, nor Horus, nor Jesus, nor Krishna, nor Buddha, and to not make Lucifer, Satan, an equal to him, because no, it's not as above, so below. God the Almighty is the source of everything, good and bad, life and death, in his hand the absolute power so stop associating your energy gods with him because they are creatures like us and in the final hour will disassociate dissociate dissociate themselves from you god is the source of everything and because he's seeing the hearts he gives both the the hard-hearted and the good-hearted more of what they they themselves according to their free will decided to seek in their minds and hearts whether it's good or bad some people argue about destiny and free will and predestined events but this is another topic which i will gladly gladly explain to those who ask about but god knows the true believers never argue because when they hear a good, sincere word, they would, know it, they would know it, take it, and act upon it. God commanded you also to not kill and to not steal. So what Israel is doing today? 
the way of God is the way of peace and the way not the way of the jungle if you believe in power of your weapons then you will be doomed if you believe in surrendering your lives to God the same way your ancestors did with Moses then you will be saved and blessed you have the free will to choose your destiny and I as a messenger I have the reminder of the covenant God wants you to return to the ways of Abraham and Moses and cease relying on the ways of David and Solomon. The latter was given exclusively power over the humans and the jinni races, but he followed earthly pleasure just like Muhammad. God sent me to remove Muhammad laws from the Quran and highlight the clear book which was deliberately hidden within for me to be a warner to mankind during the first break of COVID-19. So return to your God, repent and fix your ways. God do not support those who are arrogant and love power and spread corruption and bloodshed. If you keep your covenant, God is able to destroy all your enemies. It's time for all believers to unite in the way of our grandfather Abraham, the religion of truth which is so simple. Do righteous deeds, do not associate any person or deity with God the Almighty, and seek security, victory, knowledge, and wisdom only from Him, because He is the most general, generous and the most wise. You and I can understand each other well, because my life story has been similar to your history. I have been a wanderer in America, Europe, and the Middle East for the last 18 years. I suffered a lot of mis misjudgment and accusations, and I wept on a daily basis. I was attacked several times, both psychologically and physically. It has been a long road out of hell. I knew the pain of the black maid, the orphan, the cheated, the cheated lover, the lonely, the backstabbed, the starving, the hated for no reason, the bullied, and all sorts of pain that a human can face in a mortal life. So please heed this call and act, swift, and act swiftly upon it, because we are in the final hour. God will judge us all soon. Let us bring his kingdom with peace and grace instead of suffering and conflict. God bless you all. Peace to you. Shalom.